And all right, so here we go. This is uh, the Pablo Cunha story, and I am your host, Jack, and this is the Jack City Gaming Channel. So we are at FM24, and we got uh, a game against Sudamerica at home, and it's on TV. Uh, we, the last time I left you off, I beat, who was it? Rentistas. That's right. I beat Rentistas. Um, and the following two games, just to give you a little synopsis here, um, unfortunately I lost both of them. Uh, the first one was a late goal that we conceded, which really sucked. So it is what it is. Um, it should have been a draw. The second game, we got beat. And uh, we actually got beat by, we had some pressure towards the end, but then we were, um, unfortunately, a great, really, really great goal scored by them at the end. So now coming to this game for Sudamerica, um, this is the news about the team that's going on. So we got Lucas Gonzalez, our backup goalkeeper in net to start the game um, in the game against, who was it? Cerrito which I believe is our, it was the second game. It was the game after the one that you guys watched. Uh, yeah, he broke his hand in the game. So now we got Lucas Gonzalez. I do not, just based on the brief time I've seen him, I do not feel confident about this goalkeeper. He is not to that standard that uh, Johnny De Silva is. So just letting you know that. Uh, back line, Alexis Piegas, Federico Platero, and Martin Gonzalez. Same for back three that you usually see. Facundo Vega, Gaston Paiva, and then I'm going to put in Agustin Pons uh, as a defensive midfielder there. Axel Muller is now going to start ahead of Anthony Sosa for the game. Mauro Cacci is also going to be starting. Uh, William Klingender got a goal last game. Um, really good goal, too, when he came on. This is sub, but... Uh, yeah, Maurikachi has been just a little bit better in that role so far. So, you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, I have experimented a little bit with Alan Bonansea, but he does he loses his spot so far to Maxi uh, Cayorta. And then, of course, Christian Franco, um, you know, as you know from the first game that you guys watched. So let's uh, get into this. Um, I am nervous. This team, you know, we had two losses so far. Uh, again... That game against Cerrito, if we took, if we got a draw, I would have been fair enough. Rambla Juniors, when we lost to them, that felt like it felt like we just were not good enough, and uh, that's frustrating. Uh, we did have late pressure again, but the fact is that, like, you know, we we couldn't overcome. So we're playing in the white from right to left. All right, Ramos. Lafreda. Barceos. Okay, don't like this. Sanchez. Oh, off the top of the crossbar. He was off sides, though. I hate this complacency. It's just building through the team. I don't know what the team talks are. I really don't like it. Focus, guys. Focus. Overwhelmed or and uninterested, man. I'm getting disrespected out here. All right, Platetto. Piegas, Pons. There you go, Vega. Can't quite make, like, turn that corner there. Oh, come on. Platero, come on. Like, close him down. He's going to cross it in here. Lemos. Okay. Uh... Demand more. We should not be like this right now. Lafreda, he's the wing back for them on the left side. 
Thank you, Gonzalez. That's a confident take. You don't always do that. All right. Oh, drops to Franco. Franco! Christian Franco, there we go. We'll take that. I don't care how they come. We'll take goals. We'll take that. Lucas Gonzalez. Wow. Uh, yeah, Jorge Pedro definitely made a mistake there. And uh, good finish. Really, uh, it's kind of a basic finish. Not really skillful, just hitting it straight. But you know what? If it's in the back of the net, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Ramos. No, yeah, Sanchez. Okay. Oh. Shoot. Felipe Klein. Pedro made the, the error. If he can continue those errors, that would be really, really fantastic, honestly. I'll take those all day. Calzada. Calzada again. Dumps it forward. It's Lemos. What's he got here? Oh, great save. I just want to give a shout, like, one more before we go into halftime here. Or maybe not. All right, we make it one nail to half. I'll take that. Pretty minimal. Like, we, we definitely did not play that well. So, uh, might have to make some changes here. I'm going to... I'm just going to switch up the tactic here. Um, let's, again, keep him going down the middle here. Augustine Pons. I'm going to put on the defensive side. Yeah, um, ball playing defender, cover, Diegas, yeah. You know what, I do want, I just want him to step up a little bit. If I don't want him to drop back for the cover all the time because that created one of the problems is that he was, part of his role is he's going to run back to be like last man of the defense. So uh, I felt like that was definitely working against me there. Franco's definitely going up top. I think Kyord is going to come off. He's been complacent. Uh, it's unfortunate. I act. I really like him, uh, but if he's going to continue playing like garbage, then I'm, you know, like what? Do, what do I got to do? I think this is a good positive. Uh, yeah, hit the overlaps. You know what? I want to run at defenders. And let's push up just a little bit. So hopefully um, what I'm looking for is, you know, this guy supports, right? He's going to be the main attacking threat. He's going to drift inside and he could bomb through. Uh, so Kachi will drift inside as an inside forward and Muller will be able to bomb through, become that support. And then Paiva will be able to operate this space as he comes in as an attacking Oh, as an attacking Volante. Um, Pons will drop back and stay here for the uh, the like for the defensive counters. Just to shield the back line. I don't want them to get too exposed because, uh, again, uh, like, we got uh, not the fastest defenders here. Not the most physically gifted. Um, just in terms of speed, that is, that... It's the speed aspect. I just don't want to get caught off guard here. Vega puts it forward. Franco. There we go. Yeah, that's a little, a little late. Correa. Muller. 
Right. I, well, I liked what I just saw right there. That that felt a lot better. I gotta be honest, it felt a lot better. The goal that we got felt like a fluke. It really it was mostly just from the error. Uh in this game, it just feels tight. It feels like we've been losing. We lost the first half, even though we, we were up. Look at these. Lafreda. Yeah. Okay. Um, hold on here. Hold on. Pawns? I want you... Hold on here. Pawns, I want you to mark the specific position of the... Uh, nope. Attacking... Yeah. I want him tracking Ramos all the time. And you know, there's all three, all three of them bunched up here. And what stakes is nobody got Sanchez. Like I, I Pons. Franco, there we go. Nice pass. That was, Franco, that was not a nice pass. That was terrible. We capitalized on that, Paiva. Ooh, that was a lot closer than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Honestly, I think what would be, I want to, I want to put, take Pons off, but, uh, I don't think I can. He's he is gassed out. Ibanez will be coming in. I think just Ibanez for now. Paiva again. Oh, good save by Silva. Man, this game is within our reach, man. Let's encourage the team. We can do this. We can score. Vega. Franco. Oh, no way. Okay, he was offside. All right, that, that felt right, too, honestly. Correa. Piegas. Pons. Paiva. Release him. Franco. Oh, what a great goal. Right down the middle there. Good shift to the ball and right through the right down the throat. That was amazing. That was an amazing play right there. That is exactly what I'm talking about. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Alright, Sanchez is gonna come on for pawns. Uh, I want you as a I think as a ball winning midfielder here. And Hmm. I feel like Franco earned a rest, but I want to. I might do that later. I don't think I'm ready to to put them on now. Yeah, Sosa. I think this is all I'm gonna do for now. That was fantastic, Christian Franco. Take a bow. This is this is excellent. Pawns to Paiva, right to Franco. Like, that shows the placement of having that, def that defensive midfielder with along with Paiva there. Um, you know, just supporting the attack, being able to create that pivot. So, you know, Pons is sitting there, uh, able to be that outlet. And then, of course, Paiva is sitting there as a Segundo Volante. He's that, you know, central role and uh, gets the ball and, you know, the advance forward. Ooh. Uh, Christian Franco sitting on the shoulder of that last line. 
makes the makes the run and a great finish right into the corner too. Just a man. Oh, shoot! Did I, why? I don't know what I just clicked. I don't know what I just clicked. Step up. Oh, come on. Mosquito. It's over the top. Okay. We need to win this if we're going to be in for the competencia, uh, Torneo competencia. We need this. All right, Franco, I think you're done. Bonancia, you're going to come on. Uh, I'm going to do a target forward here and hit early crosses, float them because he's tall as hell. He's so tall. Vega, Correa, Piegas, Ibanez, okay, Sosa. Oh, come on, Sanchez. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. Honestly, it's a poor shot. He could have hit that anywhere. Lucas Gonzalez only saves the shots that are right at him. Oh. Okay. Waste time. Slow the tempo down. Actually, you're right. Take these off. Uh, slightly shorter. Please do not concede a goal here. It's 2-1. Sudamerica is going to be coming down my throat for the next few minutes here. Lemos. Oh my god. Demand more. Oh! Sequeira. That would have been his first touch. I think that he was the sub that just came on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He's super offsides. Come on. Definitely waste time frequently and often. Thank you. Oh, that was good. That was good. Honestly, we fought back there. We uh, we had a really poor first half. Uh, we conceded a goal, and we were on our back, you know, on our heels there, and we were able to to get a great goal. We I made a tactical shift that paid off, and um, Pons excellent placement. Paiva did excellently, and then uh, you know the great Christian Franco. Uh, he's really come out of his shell. So as you can see here, we are kind of sitting mid table right now um, We definitely need two more wins uh, Get to nine and then get to 12. So Rampla juniors if they win uh, it, it kind of feels like game set and match if I'm honest, so Yeah, and uh yeah, but we'll take that, and we'll take that superb in front of goal. So, ultimately, we got to play Uruguay Montevideo. Okay. All right, so I think that might be the next the next game because we it's a must win for us to stay into the to Torneo Competencia here. Um, actually, hold on, it might just be dependent on on Rampla Junior. So. Hold on here. Let me fast forward the game to see how Rompla Juniors, if, if they win, then I think we can kind of call it here. Um, so just letting you know. All right. So this is uh, me wrapping up the episode and I wanted to just show you what happened. So Rompla Juniors did beat uh, Miramar Misiones. Uh, they're, so uh, that means they're on 12 points, which means it's we have a real outside chance of even getting into this. Uh, Rompla Juniors got two games left to play uh, having been perfect so far so that means um oh yeah that means that basically i'll play my game against uruguay montevideo with you guys and uh that will mean that you know that's a must win so um yeah, depending on, it, you know, I have to win. And then the next game is obviously Rampla Juniors versus Rentistas. The game after that, and I'll, I'll show you guys uh, what the outcome is there. And if 
by chance Rentistas wins, then that will mean we are going to have... Uh, we'll probably play the last game of this little group stage, like the, the game right after that, because then it, the game's live. And now then we would have a chance and then we go into the final day for the Torneo Competencia. Um, and, you know, we got to take on Miramar Misiones away and Rampel Juniors has to play Cerrito away. And Cerrito are also in the mix here too. So uh, I would need Cerrito to win. And, you know, hold on. How are we doing the... Uh, the rules here, goal difference scored and then between teams. So, uh, yeah. So that being said, you know, I need to improve my goal difference here because rompel has got five already. Um, but yeah, so next game, I'll show you guys a Uruguay Montevideo, that game at home. And then I'll also display how Rompla Juniors versus Rentistas is. It might seem a little bit too much. Rentistas has been absolutely uh, just been dog water for the start of this, but that's it. Anyways, please like, subscribe. I'm going to be continuing this story of Pablo Cunha on FM24, and I hope you enjoy it. And let me know, you know, if you have any thoughts on this, uh, you know, how to improve it. You know, I'm up for it. But uh, again, Thank you very much and have a good one.